I'm sure that this one specific film review is going to have me hated and blasted by many a community. And to that I say, I don't care. Barbie sucks, okay? Barbie being released in theaters right beside Oppenheimer was a huge mistake. I don't care how much money Barbie made compared to even Oppenheimer. It didn't deserve it. And I'll explain to you why. The reason why Barbie made so much fucking money was just because it advertised about being a Barbie, but it did not specify the actual story. Okay, now, just to be clear, there are some aspects of this film I did really appreciate. I watched Barbie in 4K, and I've only ever watched it on a 4K disc. Barbie's visuals look amazing, okay? I would gladly give this film a 10 out of 10, just on its visuals alone. Just so we're clear, just so you understand, I'm not just, uh, I'm not just somebody that hates women, that's not what this is. I'm a film critic, okay? Or I try to be. Barbie though, outside of its visuals, even the audio is just kinda meh. Outside of those, the story and the writing is an absolute fucking train wreck of wokeness and just everything confusing one another. So, the entirety of the story of Barbie is set around Barbie aspiring, and that's about it, just aspiring. And then it also ends up being Ken's storyline, just aspiring. And the one thing I have to say is all the memes I was seeing, all the viral videos of Ryan Gosling, how ironic it is that he could be an Oscar contender for his performance in Barbie. Okay, just so we're clear, Ryan Gosling completely stole the film. I love Margot Robbie as an actress, but she really didn't do that much in this film. Ryan Gosling is a great actor and he really showcases his acting chops in Barbie. And that's sad. That's sad that whenever somebody brings up Ryan Gosling, my number one example has to be Barbie. Because this film's a train wreck and I hate that I there's one way to recommend it, but as far as somebody recognizing Ryan Gosling's talent, Definitely one of the recommendations I would say is Barbie, but only because of Ryan Gosling's performance. Now let's get into the story. The story is also about Barbie aspiring and she ends up going into the real world with Ken and they basically fuck shit up together and by themselves. And there are a bunch of cameos in this film from Woke Hollywood and Will Ferrell is one of them. And the biggest thing about this film's narrative is that women are treated not as equal as men. But then, throughout the film, we also find out that men are buffoons, even though they're giant, rich CEOs, but they're morons because they're men. Okay, well how can they be morons if they're fucking rich and not even just about money? If they own their own business, how the fuck can they be morons? Obviously, they're doing something intelligent in their lives. I'm just saying. I'm really just saying. Now, the, the film was a train wreck for me to watch. And honestly, I was bored to death through this entire film. I predicted everything that would happen after the first two or three minutes because I knew exactly where the writing was going. And... I mean, the acting is fine, albeit it, it tends to be over the top just for the sake of dramatic flair. So with that being said, the acting is also kind of bad. And then we also get random cameos of like Michael Sarah that he's funny in it, but he's just the laughing stock in this film. His, I, I understand he, they try to give him some kind of story for his character, but every storyline in this just fucking falls flat as fuck. Overall for me, Barbie's a train wreck. You should not ever watch this film other than for the visuals and somewhat the audio and especially Ryan Gosling's performance above all. Ryan Gosling absolutely kills it in this film, but Barbie in 4K even is a train wreck. 
And if you buy Barbie in 4K, it would only just be for the visuals in 4K. So for me, Barbie in 4K is a 3 out of 10. Thank you.